everybody welcome to carry on jeff and john once again just want to say hello to one or two people over here tonight hi nadine thanks for coming my friend absolutely awesome of you it really is thank you hi jason near to the north uh sorry i haven't been to see you I've, uh, I've been ever so busy but we're back on track now so I'll be coming to see you again. Check out Near the North. Absolutely awesome. Hi, Shepherd and Mo Chef and Moore. Thanks for coming, darling. Absolutely fantastic of you. You finally made it. Brilliant. Always in my heart, dude. You're always in our heart as well, uh, Jason. I hope everything's going uh, fantastic with yourself. We're going to um, Iceland um, on the 14th. Uh, see the lights be awesome if I could meet up with you Jason it really would absolutely fantastic hi Kathleen my sweetheart thanks for coming Suka thanks for coming darling absolutely brilliant of you how's it Cartwright welcome to the live stream I think I've said hello to everybody Chef Damore I just want to thank you it's an absolute honour to see you uh, check out Chef um, she um, she does an awesome live stream. Uh, she's a great supporter. So go and check her out as well. Bargain buys, honey. Don't forget the Jane front of that as well, uh, Russ. And how's Mel? Is she all right? I'll come down and see you soon. Anyway, anyway, there's nine people in, seven likes. Ten people in, seven likes, which is absolutely awesome. It really is. Andy Fleming, thanks for coming, my friend. Long time no see, but they always come back and have a and go and watch. Uh, carry on, Jeff and John. We're going to do an awesome recipe. This one is one of my kids' favourites. They absolutely adore this one. Caroline 2B3, thanks for coming. Honey and mustard, the perfect boy. Uh, perfect pair, sorry about that. Yado. Great piano player, go and check her out. Yadel is absolutely awesome, genuine, she supports everybody. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks for coming, Yadel. Thanks, everybody, for coming and supporting Carry On, Jeff and John. You're all absolutely awesome, and a massive shout-out to every single one of you. Right, let's get cracking, and let's less of the waffle, and let's do some cooking. Right, what you need for this is a chicken fillet, Three tablespoons of honey, two cloves of garlic finely chopped, two tablespoons of old grain mustard, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and what we need what we need for the salad is some sweet corn, bacon lardons. Cucumbers, cut them up the flash way. Let's just get the presentation, that's what it's all about. Salt, cherry tomatoes, and some nice lettuce. Right, I'm just going to move these out of the way and then we're going to get cooking. Right, if you're going to follow this recipe, the first thing we've got to do is preheat your oven on 200. That's the first thing we've got to do. That's already on. So we'll move these out of the way. The thing we want is a baking tray. Put your baking lard on in. Just spread them out like so. Put them in the top shelf. Get yourself a bowl. A whisk. Right. Two tablespoons of all grain mustard. 
tablespoon of Dijon. Like so. Three tablespoons of honey. You're going to love this one. This is absolutely awesome. Three tablespoons of olive oil. And your two cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Then all we're going to do then is combine all them ingredients together like so. Salt. Look at that whisk, tea fowl, absolutely awesome. That's all I ever use when I'm cooking is tea fowl. The last you will live on. Right, we'll do that first. Put your chicken in the chicken fillet like so. Get yourself a pan, fire, just a smidgen of olive oil, get yourself a spatula, a wooden spatula never use metal onto metal and then you, your uh, pans and will last an absolute long time got to love piping enjoy your explore tj thanks for coming darling i know it's i know very well it's uh very late or early morning there but you've made an effort and you've come and joined us which is absolutely awesome and another thing i like to tell you is that i've been on a diet and in the last week, I've lost 11 pounds in weight. And that's what I am. I'm on a permanent diet. I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm on borderline diabetic. And I'm going to beat it by uh, a diet. So no potatoes, no sugar, no cakes. Because uh, I love pastries, pork pie, uh, sausage rolls, that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, I'm cutting out all the junk. I really am, and I'm going to do it. And I weigh um, nearly 16 stone. Um, well, I weigh 16 and all, and I'm down to 15, 11 in one week. And I'm going to beat this uh, diabetes. I really am. I'm borderline, and I'm doing something about it. Got to start looking after myself. Right, put your chicken in there like so. Keep this till right near the end. Right, just want to turn that down. Smell is absolutely awesome, it really is. Right, this will take about 15 minutes, so I'll just come and have a chat with you. Don't have it on too high.
Hi Johnny, sorry I'm late. Wendy, you're never too late sweetheart, you really ain't. Thanks for coming Wendy, absolutely awesome of you sweetheart. Just want to thank every single one of you for supporting, I really do. Cut this nice and slow. And just seal it. Seal your chicken in like so. Turn it on the side. Right, now we can put the rest in. Right, turn that down to a simmer now. I've got a low heat. Just keep turning it over like that. And all we're doing is just sealing all the goodness into the chicken. Get yourself a tray like so. Now we've sealed all that in, and what we want to do now, we're going to transfer that transfer that to the oven. Get yourself one of these trays, absolutely awesome, they really are. Look how that caramelizing like so Right, save this, all this honey in here and the mustard, save that because that is going to be our dressing. Awesome. Right, while we're doing, while we're waiting for the chicken to cook, that's going to be another 10 minutes or so. We're going to take the bacon lardons out in the next minute or so. We're going to transfer that into all that uh, mustard and honey in there. It's going to be absolutely awesome. The beautiful flavours they really are. So while we're waiting for that, what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, prepare the salad. Nice salad, look at that. Awesome. Get some of this. Nice little bits of beetroot in it. Good for you. I think if you if you if you keep having um, iceberg lettuce all the time, it gets a little bit boring. This is the stuff that I'm eating regularly now. Eating a lot of salad. 
fresh fish, salmon, mackerel, absolutely awesome. Hi Raphael, thanks for coming my friend. Absolutely awesome of you. Outdoor adventure, welcome to the live stream. Always welcome here. Everybody's always welcome. Massive shout out to everybody. Nice bit of cucumber. Oh, absolutely awesome. Some nice cherry tongs. Don't eat any other tomatoes I don't. It's got to be vine. It's got to be on the vine. Cherry tomatoes. Awesome. No carbs in this at all. No carbs. None of this has got any carbs in. That's what you've got to do. If you want to lose weight, cut out the carbs. No pasta. No noodles. No potatoes. And even some of the cereals. Um, are, are full of carbs as well. That's what a lot of people don't realise is, and they're full of sugar. What I always have, I always have some porridge with water. Don't use any milk whatsoever. I tell you, I'm going to show you how, you how to lose weight. If you want any tips, ask me, and I'll put you right. And another thing, when you're losing weight, you're all right to eat meat. Preferably eat chicken, all the white meat, chicken, turkey, that kind of stuff. But you can eat steak and that. It's okay to eat it. Even if you are a diabetic, you're allowed to eat at least two lot, two meat every day if you want to. It's entirely up to yourself. And another thing I want to tell you a thing as well. People say that decaf coffee and decaf tea is good for you. But well, I'm sorry to say it's not. There's something in that decaf, what they put in that decaf, it's no good. Just use normal tea and coffee. You're okay with that. And drink loads of water. The water will fill you up anyway. And it flushes, keeps the kidneys going and that. So that's another tip for you. Well, I'm looking for my nose. So we're going to put some nice cherry tomatoes in. Got to be on the vine though, remember that. Another good thing um, to have with salad as well is mustard. Have as much mustard on as you can. Now, I've had some awesome tips from a lady. She's a Bulgarian lady. She's about 72. Um... She's fought cancer, she's beaten cancer, and I'll tell you something else as well. Hang on, let's just get these bacon lard on that and all while we're at it. Right, the bacon lard on are done. That's cooking beautiful. Um, she beat cancer, um, and I'll tell you what, some of the tips that she's given me, because um, I said to her, I'm borderline diabetic, she said, John, you can eat whatever you want in moderation. And she also says that cheese is okay, the low-fat cheese, Edam, Edam is one of the best, and feta cheese is okay as well. So that's another tip for you. She's sorry, she's absolutely awesome, she really is. Right, I think that's enough. I think that's enough in there. Enough tomatoes. Then what we want then is put some nice sweet corn. Now there's no calories whatsoever in sweet corn. Hang on, it might be ready to crack. Nice bit of sweet corn. Absolutely awesome. Love sweet corn. I know I'm waffling on on that. 
Nadine, thanks for coming, my friend. The Winston family, another great lady. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. I know you're busy, you're working so hard on your channel. It's absolutely awesome what you're doing. And your channel is building at such a rate. I'm so impressed, it's unbelievable. The Winston family, check her out, everybody. She's absolutely awesome, she really is. And her husband is called Barry White. So check them out. It's not the real Barry White, but he's a great guy. He really is. Um, so check him out. She's, she's live quite a lot. Uh, you go and support her, and she will come and support you. She's absolutely brilliant. So everybody check out the Winston family. We just got monetized. That is absolutely awesome, sweetheart. It really is. And, you'll, and I'll tell you something else and all. These channels that get monetized, um, they get it, and what happens is, they forget about you, they don't want to know you. But this lady, um, she's been monetized, she's here now, and that's how, that shows how genuine that, um, that la the, the lady is. She's absolutely beautiful, beautiful lady. Um, got a great uh, charisma about her. Um, she always makes you welcome when you go on their, on their uh, live stream. She's absolutely fabulous. So the Winston family, you're always welcome here and you're an absolute darling. And when I can, I'll be on your live stream. I get about quite a bit. I've been busy uh, sometime with a bit of the health and whatever, and that, but I'm coming back with a bang. Uh, another great guy, um, near to the north, uh, Jason. He does a live stream. If you haven't got near to the north, you're missing out. He's absolutely brilliant. He really is. Uh, Nadine, he's another guy. A lovely family. Such a family man. And they really do enjoy each other's company. And what a great family they are. So Nadine, uh, I salute you, my friend, because that's exactly how I am. Your family and your close friends will always come, um, will always be in your life and they always come first. Um, I watched a video of Nadine's and I'll tell you something now, it was his, uh, with his father and that, and it really touched me, it really, really touched me. With, they're having to undress him and stuff like that. We've all got to get old one day, so show a bit of respect to the elders. That's what I've always been brought up and that's what I will always do. So, pockers. I know I'm waffling, but I'm saying it how it is. Now I've got 11 people in, I've been over 12 people ready, and I've got 15 likes. Now I really do appreciate that. It is hard, it is hard doing YouTube, it's hard coming up with different recipes all the time. I enjoy cooking for every single one of you, you're all absolutely fantastic. And without you people, honestly, I wouldn't do it. If I was getting two or three people on, I really wouldn't do it. I don't have to do it, but I do it because I enjoy it. Uh, my friends, um, you're just fantastic people, you really are, they're all coming, it, it is hard work Purple Gang, you are so right uh, sweetheart, another one that always comes, the Purple Gang, check her out, Wendy, I'm surprised Diane ain't here tonight, because what happens is, Wendy and Diane, they're always, they try and break in my house to try and get all my recipes, they're absolutely fantastic, they really are, and the thing is, you, you, you're sticking in. The genuine ones, that they come in, they collect, get a few uh, subscribers and that. But what they don't realise is, they don't even watch your video, they don't even... Uh, they just hit the button and think that's it. It doesn't because YouTube will take them away. It's a waste of time. To build your channel, you've got to interact with everybody. You really have. See, Raphael, he's another great guy. He does a live stream on a Saturday night. Go and check him out. Go and have a chat with him. He gets an awesome crowd in there. He really does. But he's another uh, lovely guy. He really is. He's, 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 a, he's an honour to know. You know, you go and see him. He says, yeah, yeah, you're all right and all this lot. He's absolutely awesome. You go in some of them, they really don't want to know. I mean, we've had one pair. I mean, I've had a couple that's come in tonight. They'll come and say hello to you. They come and collect and then they're gone. You don't see them again. As well, if you want people to support you, you've got to be right with them as well. If you don't go and visit them and, and stuff like that, and they just come in and out and in and out, it's a waste of time. It's, it's so hard. 
it is really, really hard. And if you think you're going to make a fortune on YouTube, you really ain't going to make a lot, honestly. I was listening to one the other night. He was monetized. He was saying how much he earned and that. And I thought, what for the amount of work that you do? You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. I missed monetization by one week when they changed the goal post. Remember when you had a thousand subscribers and uh, 10,000 views? That's when it was. You got to it and I missed it by a week. But at the end of the day, I'm still here, still batting along, still keep going. But I go, it's more, this is a hobby now, but I enjoy all the, all the company, I really do. Yes, you're right, Raphael, I will come to you, mate. It's hard sometimes, because you might be out with your family and that, I look at my phone, and as soon as I see the pic, my friends, I want to say, what? I'm straight on there, I want to say hello to them. I really do. Bowstar, I've seen you coming, my friend. He's all the way from Ireland, well, across the across the water. He's another great guy. Great family, man. We're all, you are my YouTube family. Don't ever forget that. I really do. Not looking forward to my, whatever you get to, Winston, whatever you get, darling. If you got to $3 a, a, a month or whatever you got, sweetheart, it's something. It doesn't really matter. But uh, my aim is to get one dollar off YouTube so I could buy myself an egg. Now that is my goal. My goal. Um, so there you go. And on Wednesday, I'm picking up my new car and I'm going to do a film about it. My new car. Absolutely awesome this is. Wait till you see this. Uh, I've worked hard for it. I've retired now, so why not? You can't take it with you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a little tour around in, in, in uh, of your, my new Range Rover. Absolutely awesome. This is brilliant, this is. Anyway, um, what was we on about? Oh, the new car. Well, we got the new car. Anyway, uh, the chicken should be done in a minute. So I'm just going to have a quick check on that. Just going to move this salad out of the way. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. And what we do now, we've just got to stick a knife in that. And when the juices run clear, you know it's done. And if it runs pink, Get it back in the oven, it's dangerous. Gotta run clear, remember that. Bloody fidgety this is. Right, what we should do really is let that rest. Now I suddenly realised I've run out of um, foil, so I'm just going to leave that to rest anyway. Rose, thousand views for not point. They are, it crashes every single week and it wouldn't be the same, so there you go. Right. Get your oil, turn it on, and 
just warm that for it like so. Right, just put that bit of the sauce in there like that. Mix that in with your lardons, a bit of honey. You're all absolutely awesome. Thanks for coming, I really do appreciate it. Right. See, really, this should be resting for about 10 minutes. But, I want to take a chance, because, but, can you see how it's crumbling? Look at that. Absolutely awesome. So if you let this rest for about 10 minutes, you won't get that little bit of flakiness crumbling at the end. Can you see how it goes? Look at that. Look at that. Look how moist that is. That is absolutely awesome. That's how you want it. All we gotta do then is put this on there like that. If you don't come on here very often, you'll know that presentation means everything. Absolutely awesome. Then what we do then, is put your nice crispy Nice, sticky lardons. That is to die for. Oh. Absolutely awesome. Can't clean the board. And 
there we are. Honey mustard chicken. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now I've got to take my thumbnail. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. There we go. And what you do, bit of lard on. Honey, honey lard on, cherry tomatoes, and some beautiful lettuce. Mm. This is what you want, healthy food, all the time. Is it better with the light on or with the light off? That's what it looks like, look at that. Look how more that chicken is. That's not dry. You'd love that for your dinner, wouldn't you? You really would. No I'm staying. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. I'm coming over, John, save me some. Wendy, you're welcome, sweetheart. You're always welcome. You're all welcome. You wanna come and eat this, come and eat it. No dry about that. Nothing worse than dry chicken. I'm teasing you, I am sorry. But this is my meal now, and then I don't eat them. The secret is don't eat late at night, and the weight will pile up you. As soon as you cut out chicken, uh, sorry, as soon as you cut out sugar, um, bread, and potatoes, the weight will fall off you. The real well. I ought to open another. Uh, carry on, John's slimming tips. Tell you, I know. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it spot on. I really have. You watch me in another two or three months' time. I'll be like a model. I really will. I'd have lost that much weight, honestly. Then bacon lard on do that. Honey mustard on. Thirteen people in, nineteen likes. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, there's no there's no um there's no comments on this, I can't talk to you. Someone says you tap it on there. Here we are. The green dried chicken is the worst. You're not, you're not wrong there. I will make mine tomorrow. Nadine, make this tomorrow, mate. I tell you, you're going to love it. I know you can't put turn bacon because it's against your religion. But why do you put little bits of pork in? I know you can't eat pork, can you? Um, <clears throat> I don't know what you're going to put then, uh, Nadine. John, how's your dieting going? Wendy, I've what? I've lost um, 11 pounds, 10 or 11 pounds I've lost. And I'm not kidding you. I'm already feeling good for it. I'm feeling a lot better for it. I really am. It's all about the bacon.
That's right, Raphael. Comes out nice and juicy every single time. There's nothing worse than dry chicken. It's very difficult to do these um, live cooking shows because what happens is I'm talking to you and, and, and sometimes I get carried away and then I forget what I'm doing in there. When I first started doing live streams, I thought, what can you do? When we did some crumpets, some toasted crumpets, I think, I think I did about six or seven of them and they all burned. And I got one left and we had to time it and get it dead right. That was so funny, it was unbelievable. Hi Lady D. Slots, welcome, thanks for coming. Country, country first is that? So he's just gone off. Country girl first, welcome to the uh, to the channel, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome of you. And like I say, I've, I've always been. When it comes down to health, you suddenly realise, you know what I mean? You, you, you really have got to look after yourself. Really have. Um, he wanted to check my blood pressure. My blood pressure is absolutely fine. When I went into the doctors, because I don't do doctors, I've got hypertension. And I tell you what, I've got through the roof. And I was showing 191. But when I come home, I'm under 140. And I've monitored it all week it's absolutely fine and i think that's down um well my wife she, she looks after me she tells me you can eat that you can eat that you can't do this you can do that she's absolutely brilliant and i'll tell you so now when i've finished uh, the live stream i shall go for a brisk little walk for about half a mile come back because that will take it that will burn some of the calories off now i have been lazy i really have been lazy but now i'm thinking of you know what, I want to see my kids grow up. I mean, my kids are 15, 16 and 18. I want to live a little bit longer and I want to make sure that they're okay. I really do. I'm eating healthy, a lot healthy. You know? I always used to eat healthy, but I eat too much. And when you were a chef, that is the problem. Because a good chef should always uh, check the food and always taste it. And I've also got another, some fantastic news. Fantastic news to share with you. My youngest, as I could told you, um, he's got an apprenticeship doing um, chef. Um, this is his third week. Um, he couldn't come on on me because of me, uh, Luke, and the wife um, and his friend. We went to Spain last week, and I've done some awesome pictures of that. So next week, I should be uploading them. Um, he texted me and he said, Dad, um, I was taught how to do a fillet steak today. I did it, um, and I got a £10 tip. And do you know what? I read that text. Um, and I thought to myself, you know what? He's gone out of his way to text his dad. How proud of he was, because he knew I'd be proud. And I was almost filling up. I get very emotional when it comes to my kids. To do something nice like that, you know what I mean? I thought to myself, you know what, son? That is absolutely brilliant. And I said, why, why, why did the person give you that tip? Because I was curious, because I want to know. He said, Dad, he wanted it medium rare. And he said to the waiter, give the £10 ch change to the... Uh, the, the person, well, the chef in the kitchen who just cut that steak. Now, my lad cut that steak and they gave him 10, and they said, no, it wasn't to the head chef, it was the apprenticeship. He's only been there three weeks. Now, Kieran does a little bit of cooking at home. He loves cooking, uh, and I thought to myself, you know what, that is absolutely brilliant. And he come home and he said, you know what, Dad, one day, I'm going to do all your cooking for you and you can put your feet up. I said, I'll tell you what, you can go on YouTube and do all the cooking and that for me, give me a rest. And he said, you know what? And I said, to, uh, you know, but he wouldn't do that because he's shy. Nadine, proud. You don't know what it means, honestly. 
But you do know what it's like when your kids do something good. And I, I was, I was absolutely moved by it. Now my lad, <coughs> he works about, what, 14 miles away. He gets the bus in the morning. He does 40 hours a week. Um, he also does, uh, he's been doing Saturday and Sunday. As long as he does his 40 hours, that's part of his apprenticeship. And every time he comes home, he comes home with a new recipe. He said, Dad, I've been doing this today, I've been doing that. That's because you have to write it all down in a big blue book. And some of the recipes that he's, he's been being taught and shown what to do is absolutely fantastic. And I said to him, Kieran, you know what? I'm going to do some of them recipes, what you're doing on there. Because obviously, the newer chefs nowadays, they, they do things differently. Different ways and different tips. You'll never stop learning how to do, how to cook, how to do, um, there's that many different recipes, different ways of doing things. And even at my age, 59, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy learning. I really do. Because it's my life. Cooking is my life. I mean, I've done a lovely, uh, well, I'm not seeing around that, but I've done a lovely uh, Sunday dinner today with a nice big Yorkshire pudding. And my lads sit down at the table and say, Dad, are you doing a Sunday dinner? I say, yeah. We'll do a Sunday, I'll do a nice Sunday dinner. Because they absolutely love it. And there's nothing nicer when they sit around the table, talk about what they've been, what he, what uh, Luke's done at school. He wants to be a lawyer. Um, he's clever. He, he's a clever lad. He knows what he wants. Kevin wants to be a chef. He told it when he went for the interview, I said to him, what did you take the interview? I said, because you've really uh, done really good because they've opened another place for you. He said, all I want to do is, is um, be a better, following my dad's footsteps. And I said, you know what, son? You'll be better than what I am. You really will. Or what you're achieving now. And he gets paid next month on the 14th. I think it's the 14th, which will be his fourth week. He's paid every four, four, every four weeks. And do you know what he said? He said to his mum, he says, mum, when I get my first paycheck, I'm going to take you out and buy you something nice. And Dad, I'm going to treat you to a nice meal. And I said, son, you don't have to do that. You just make us proud and you, you, you achieve what you want to achieve. And he said, Dad, I will do for you a month. And he's been a right rogue, honestly. Middle one. They always say the middle ones. And the oldest one, he does his own thing. He's fabricated well and he's doing really, really well. So he's sorted. Oh, cooking is beautiful, John. Always made with love. Yes, Wendy, I do enjoy cooking. It is, it's, it's my passion. Um, if it ain't right, it goes in the bin. If I'm not happy about a, a meal or whatever, then I'm not happy. It really does upset me. But it's, I'm in my element when I'm in the kitchen when I'm cooking and that. I'm trying different things out and that, you know what I mean? I'm going to, I've got some more chicken filler and I'm going to do some spicy chicken in a bit with, you know, with some nice um, paprika batter on it. That's what they've been asking me for. Because I love KFC. So, But I said to them, I haven't got time to do the KFC at the moment. Cause I, did, I have got a link to that, but I do mine in the oven, which is more healthier than that. So uh, that's what I'm going to do for them. And I just want to thank every single one of you on here that all stay with me. I mean, you come on at the beginning... I mean, you're still here after 51 minutes, which is absolutely fantastic, because you're true friends. You really are true friends. Ian Matthews, thanks for coming, my friend. I know I'm waffling on a bit, but it is an absolute honour to see you, my friend. And I really do, I really do agree, um, agree. I really do appreciate it, because I'm a genuine man. I'm not a bullshitter. If I don't like someone, I don't like them. If, if, if they're my friends, they're like a brother to me. You know. I've got a lot. I've got uh, like Amy, um, Alison, and and Peter. Great friends. I haven't got a lot, but they give you the last penny. My last moped broke down. Do you know what? Um, Peter found out who's my friend. He walked three miles to go and help with the, with that moped. It did anything for you. Absolutely awesome. That's what you call friends. You really are. And we're going out this weekend. We can't wait to meet each other. That's what it's all about. 
It's a pity you clash with another stream that's on earlier. Um, yeah, it's just just the way it is. Ian, I'm I'm used to it now. I mean, coming on at nine o'clock and. Everybody knows what time I'm coming on. They're all absolutely awesome. They always come. And Ian, you always show your face in that, my friend, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, Winston, uh, family, I've got a KFC. If you go go through some of my, my earlier recipes, I've got an awesome there. KFC, done in, done in the oven. Healthy. None of this deep frying. Please try it. You will absolutely love it. You will never, ever buy another KFC. It is absolutely beautiful, it really is, and I'm not just saying that. There's no good me producing crap. You try it, you'll not see you again. I like to produce good food for you. And the Yorkshire pudding I did tonight, well, it was absolutely massive. Because what I do, I do mine in a tray, like that, and then just cut up in slices rather than the individual ones. So easy to do. I'll show you how to do one. One, one way we'll do we'll, we'll start doing a few little tips but like you say that takes half an hour to do that so perhaps do that will do toad in the hole but i'll show you how to do an awesome yorkshire pudding and i'll show you the right way um how to how to do it because a lot of people they don't do it it's all about getting the oil hot getting it in that oven don't open the oven door leave it for 30 minutes and the more eggs you put in the bigger it gets and if you want, you could you could do a paprika one, put some spices in it and that, and do that as a Yorkshire pudding. You save that with anything, just something different from uh, potatoes and, and, and rice and that kind of stuff. You know, they're just little ideas for you. So, there's so much to learn. Hi Jackie! Oh, another darling. Absolute darling of a lady, she really is. Check out Jackie Key. Do you know what? She's got a massive channel, and I'll tell you what, she deserves every single one of her um, subscribers. Do you know why? Because she works so hard, and she's been working a long time to build that up. She really has. She's a fantastic lady. So go and check her out. Go and check her out. Go and check Jackie out. Jackie. You're a sweetheart, babe. You really are. Uh, Jackie, I've been, um, I'm, I'm on, um, I'm on a diet at the moment because I'm borderline diabetic. Last week I did a diabetic, um, not last week, the week before. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to go on a diet. I've cut out um, sugar, all the pastries, rice. Well, if I do have rice, because I can't cut that out because I don't like a curry, but I make the curries myself, so I know there's no grease or anything in that, and a small amount. And I, I've checked my sugars afterwards, and they've gone up to as high as about 13, which ain't too bad after a meal. Uh, I've lost 11 pounds in weight in the last week, and I am going to lose a lot of weight. So I'm gonna, if I can get down to about 14 stone, I'll tell you, I'll be like a model, trust me. When do you want about Yorkshire puddings like pancakes, darling? Well, I'm going to show you how to get them, get them to rise. And I tell you what, your family and friends will be so chuffed with you, they'll say, where have you learned that from? Thanks, Jackie. That is absolutely fantastic. Winston family, thanks for all your love. Um, and when I come up to your channel, you know how? I'm gonna let your um, I'm gonna let your ads run, and your and your ad be. Let them run, everybody. Let them run. You know why? Because that's where you get your, where you get your money from, and that's where it's on. Some people just go, you know. So I I I'll, I'll let them run for you, sweetheart. I promise you that. I really do. It's been an absolute honour for the people that have come in tonight. New faces, some of the old faces. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's worth doing, is it? It's worth doing. Um, yes, don't ever skip ads. I'll never do. That's how we get paid. Yeah, well, I, I, I presume that's how it works, eh, Winston. And give my love to Barry, Barry White. He's, he's an awesome guy. He really is. Um, and letting you do all this 
you know, to YouTube because it does. It takes a lot of t time out of your family and that. You know what I mean? It really does. Thanks, Raphael. Always a pleasure. Jackie, that's what we've done tonight, sweetheart. That's what we've done, sweetheart. I've half eaten some of it, but I'm going to eat that in a bit anyway. It don't matter if it goes cold, because you can have a cold chicken salad or whatever and that, can't you? So, yeah, job done. Bye, Wendy. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Now, Wendy, um, she's always got nice things to say to everybody. She's a genuine lady. And I can't wait to see the day when she gets a thousand subscribers. If I could, if I could give her 100, another 130 um, subscribers, I'd bloody open all them accounts myself just to get her to a thousand because she deserves every single one of them. She's absolutely brilliant. Got a great personality. She really has. She's like a sister to me, she really is. And I love you to bits, Wendy, and you know that, sweetheart. I'm always there for you, darling. I'm there for everybody. I really am. Um, somebody else just come and I've got to say hello. Like, Kitty Market, thanks for coming. Not seen you for a while, but you're always welcome to come here. Always come here. Always come. And I'll always return back to you. Leave me a comment and I'm always back, back to you as well. Jackie. Love you too as well, darling. Check out Jackie. What a beautiful lady she is. She really is a beautiful lady. Sometimes I wish I was 30 years younger. I really do with some of these ladies that come on here. Absolutely fantastic. They really are. Suka, she's uh, been a mod moderator on here for quite a while now. And she's absolutely fabulous. She really is. Um, always comes... Um, always comes, shows the love, makes everybody happy and that. What more can you ask for? Anyway, um, I'm waffling a bit now. Um, just want to say, you're all absolutely awesome. Brenda Rigdon, Brendan Dunn, you saucy old devil. I am a saucy old devil, there you go. I love everybody, you know that. Anyway, from Carry On, Jeff and Jeff, just want to say, you're all absolutely awesome. Uh, love you all to bits, and I'll see you all next week. You're all fantastic. Massive shout out to you. You're all legends. You really are. So there we go. From Carry On, Jeff and John, love you loads. Now that's an awesome walla.